In this video, we will see how we can able to download the latest version of firmware for ABB Make Medium Voltage Protection Control and Automation IED directly from the ABB web page and how to update from the PCM600 ID configuration tool. So for this example, I will take um, one of the medium voltage um, multi-application IED, which is a REX640. And I would like to know the existing version, also the serial number of the ID in order to download the compatible firmware for the select the ID. So we can able to expand the specific ID in the PCM plan structure. Then you can able to go further under the ID configuration section. There will be an um, information function group. Under the information function group, we could able to see the product identifiers. And we can able to right click and then go to the parameter setting to get the latest information about the different parameters under the product identifiers. So for this task, we need to connect our PCM600 um, ID configuration install PC to the network where our IDs are connected and it should be online in order to communicate from the PCM600 ID configuration tool. So we know now the existing version that we have um, in our ID is 1.1.3 and the serial number is very important in order to check the, the firmware availability for this particular ID. Do we have the latest firmware or not? How we make sure do we have the latest update for uh, this ID or not? So you can able to see the production date for the, the firmware that we have currently uh, installed on the ID. So this 1.1.3 firmware version is produced um, around 2020 and you can also have the month and date here so just copy the right click the serial number and then you can able to copy there you can able to go to the web browser so you need to connect your pc to online so you can able to open any one of the web browser and then go to the abb um, Product protection data care web page there you can able to provide the serial number directly and it's also important to um, have the user in order to maintain your um, user information to download this information um, in a proper way as a end user for ABB products so you can able to provide the serial number and you can able to select proceed option here I will provide you the link in the description or can able to get an access in order to download. So you can able to see there is a new firmware available. The production date of this particular firmware is um, 26 and 2022. That means um, there is a new firmware update available recently released. Then we can able to, I mean, last month there is a firmware update happened we can able to download so the firmware will be in the zip file so you can able to see here there is a zip file downloaded so you can able to right click the zip file then extract it To the folder and there you can able to go inside so there is a new version 1.1.4 so we can able to understand what are the um, enhancement that are part of this particular firmware so you can able to open the the first document the pdf document so this one will have the the procedure um, the firmware release notes uh, and what are the part of this release notes we could able to see the, um, the fixes uh, in the new firmware version so here we can able to see um, there are some vulnerability fixes part of this particular release so there are some um, vulnerability identified in the previous version of uh, 
Rex 640, um, basically the 1.3 and, and previous versions. So those um, vulnerability has been fixed in the newer version related to MMS uh, file transfer, basically the, the comp trade files um, that we do um, collect from the fault record collector uh, over MMS protocol. And there are some more um, fixes related to the access control for the MMS and, and many other um, fixes related to the crypto cryptography um, library, also the web server um, protocol. So these are the fixes. Also some more improvements related to 104 um, protocol and this particular ID. Also some more uh, fixes um, improved for the differential communication. So x is a multi-application ID and there are so many different protection supported for this particular ID um, that can be used in the medium voltage uh, substation. And we can able to also see some more improvements related to the PTP uh, precision time protocol, which is also very important when we are working with um, sample value application with x 40 So it's important to have this particular update um, in our ID, and it's highly recommended to update the firmware um, by taking um, your ID um, offline. So in my case, I'm going to update this ID um, that's in my training setup. So it's not a big deal for me to update the, the firmware in my setup. So these are the release notes. What are the fixes, improvements, uh, part of this release that we can able to understand by extracting the zip file. And the firmware file is a the cap, .cap file. It's a cabinet file format. This will be using it for updating from the PCM600. And next one is the manual that, that will guide you how to update the, the firmware. So it's a very simple step-by-step -step process on how to connect. So I have connected my PCM600 install PC to the network. Um, so there is a service port backside of the Rec640 that we can able to use it uh, for firmware update. You can able to connect directly in case if you have one ID, if you have many IDs in a substation, you can able to do from the station bus. Um, you can also use the, the different access point like the X1.2 and X0, also the HMI port can be used for updating the firmware as per requirement. And it's also highly recommend um, to add the ID before you update into the PCM600 and you can able to also perform the read from ID um, operation so that you collect all the uh, information from the ID configuration. And further, you can able to use the, the menu by right clicking the ID and then use the update ID to update the firmware. So we will do this now. So the process can be understandable from the uh, firmware update guideline, which is very easy. So let's go back to the PCM600. So before you update the, the firmware, it's also important to enable the, the firmware update from remote. So you can able to expand the configurations, configuration section, uh, the function group. Under this, you could able to see the authorization um, Menu. So under that authorization, you could able to see, um, you can also right click parameter setting, go there, and then you can able to see the setting or you can able to enable the remote update. So you can able to save it. Then you can able to write this um, setting partially to the ID. So you have the complete flexibility within PCM600 to write uh, specific changes that you do in one of the function group. So the remote update has been enabled in the ID from the PCM600 and we can able to close this parameter setting, we can minimize everything and you can able to right click the ID object. There you see the update ID. So before you perform the update um, ID, it's also important to have the technical key um, correct between PCM600 to the real ID so that you can able to make sure to proceed further. So you can able to select update ID. It 
it will check the communication between the PCM600 to the real ID and it's important to have the proper communication so without um, disturbing the network also without powering of the ID so here you see an option the firmware update tool um, will appear for you to provide the, the input file so you can able to sell go with the default section default selection the firmware option to choose and then browse the firmware package there you can able to go to the downloads folder so this is the, the folder that we have downloaded um, recently I can able to go to the extracted folder there you can able to pick the the cabinet file um, format that has the firmware files so here you can able to see the 1.1.4 and you can able to just see open here and you can also see the the information has been uh, extracted and that is available here the what are the information gonna update so this is a latest version 1.1.4 so you can go next and this is a selected ID and then you can able to go further by next and you can also able to um, enable the clear the device composition change uh, flag and you can also go further with default selection by going update So here at this particular point, um, the local user also um, get an option. So from the LHMI of the, the X640, there will be an approval required. You can able to say um, allow so that you can able to proceed the remote update um, quicker. Otherwise, it will automatically go for the update. So it takes um, a few minutes to update the firmware. So update, firmware update is in progress now. So it will update the different um, the files compatible for LHMI and the communication module. And it takes a few minutes depending on the, the network speed uh, in your local area network. So there are a different set of uh, firmware files will be written to the different communication and LHMI hardware. So you can also see now the firmware file for the communication card is getting written. Post update, um, this is the, the information which is expected. Basically, we should be able to see uh, the ID, firmware, and the communication card. Firmware update has been successfully done. So we can able to select close button here. Then we can able to right click the ID. And there is an option, the life cycle handling. In case if you are updating the firmware, from the engineering PC. If the engineering PC is not connected to the internet, then you can able to export the PCM600 project as a PCMP file and you can able to import into another um, PC or your laptop and you can able to do this operation. So basically you need to update the information um, that you collected from the ID. For example, you can able to expand the ID configuration, go to the information, right click the product identifiers and open the parameter settings. So let's read the parameters from the ID object. Let's read complete information. So the software information or the complete product identifiers for the whole function group. 
so you could able to see now the information has been updated from 1.1.3 to 1.1.4 so what we can able to say here we can able to save this information locally to the PCM 600 and we can able to further export the PCM 600 project and you can able to connect your, your PCM 600 install PC in case if you're, if you're if you are not connecting your engineering PC to the internet so you can able to um, right click the ID object then you can able to go further choosing the lifecycle handling and collect the ID composition data and you can able to say OK here. You can able to right click the system lifecycle so the right site information and you can able to fill this information the customer name and the, the different information related to the address and substation details and right to the ID and you can also able to complete the information basically in order to get the support from the um, ABB um, ID site so you can able to get uh, the product lifecycle support for example in case there is a successor product for this particular um, ID make you can able to get this information uh, from ABB for long support uh, if the product is gonna discontinue for many years uh, after then you can able to get that proper support from the ABB company so this is how we can able to so there is there is a separate tool that will be um, running in our PC uh, in the down ABB system lifecycle. So this particular um, tool provide uh, an option to write this information to the ABB data center or online. So, so the information um, that you are using in your project, the ID version, so this will be updated to the ABB data center um, from your PC where you connected internet so that you get a proper support later on when there is a, a new component and um, successor product of the, the device that you are using in your substation. So this is the same method you can able to follow for other um, medium voltage protection control ID. In case of high voltage protection control ID, and if you'd like to download and update the firmware, you need to contact the, the Hitachi Energy Technical sub, uh, Sales Support to get the field service tool also the id package for your different projects in case if you find some vulnerability also if you find some enhancement in the newer version you can able to get the support from the Hitachi energy technical support and post uh, update it's also important to write the configuration to the to the real id so you can able to follow the the steps from the firmware update um, procedure PDF that you also get along with the package. The information that will be written to the ID once again in case if there is anything missing post update and you can also check post update of the firmware uh, it's also important to check the measurement like the voltage and currents are reading properly or not uh, ideally it should be um, working fine to make sure it's also important to check the functions and the diagnostic information the ID should not um, show some um, warnings or error, error messages in case if the ID is um, working properly with the latest firmware. So it takes a few seconds to write the configuration from PC600 to the real ID.
so after you update um, the firmware it's also disable the uh, new services for example the remote um, update that we enable need to be disabled later on in the real environment so you can able to disable the setting further going there and then you can able to disable the remote update in case if you are not gonna use it can able to write the to change parameter or the whole function group values you can also disable the new services and ports if you are using the id in the real environment so that's all in this particular video thank you take care bye bye